We know design expert Genevieve Gorder from her time on TLC's Trading Spaces and from a number of HGTV programs, including Design Star and Genevieve's Renovation. In addition to her TV and design career, she's also a busy mom who's always in search of ways to help fill the funding gap at her daughter's school. She's here with us today to chat about her career and to share details about the Box Tops for Education program. Thanks for joining us, Genevieve. Thanks, Sherry. Thanks for having me. Of course. You are a big supporter of Box Tops for Education. How exactly does the program work? Well, I have joined with General Mills this year for the first ever national Box Tops for Education week, which starts on September 24th. And how it works is basically clipping these little box tops that live beyond a box. They live on lots of different packaging from cleaning products to storage bags, snacks, toilet paper, cereal, of course, um, as well as, you know, granola bars and treats. So looking for these box tops everywhere um, is a treasure hunt of sorts in itself. But what they equal is cash for schools. So when you clip these and you bring them to participating schools in the program, which are many, many schools, my daughter is one of them, um, it equals funding for sports programs, for tech, for uh, art supplies, et cetera. It's a big gift. And over the last 20 years, we've raised over $840 million. So I'm hoping this year we can break a billion. Just with one oh. national week, I think we can do it. Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. I know. <laughs> now, you've had some pretty good success with your daughter's school. Can you talk about some success stories? You know, she, my daughter's in fourth grade. She's nine. And each class in her school competes against the other one, which is great because no one loses. The school just keeps winning. They go towards right. the pizza party, which is kind of everything for an eight or nine-year-old. They're, like, obsessed with box tops. Um, what they don't uh -huh. fully understand is how it pays them back in supplies for the school, which, of course, all the adults are fully aware of. Um, so we clip, and we have a Ziploc bag on the back of one of our cabinet doors so I can see it. If I have a visual reminder that there's something to do, because there's way too much we have to remember every day anyway, right? It's like I have enough yeah, passwords absolutely. to rem remember, let alone clipping boxes. But we literally throw away money when we don't clip these out. So it's something that non-parents should also engage in neighbors and their neighborhood schools. It's something you can make a collection drive out of everyone you know and deliver them to school and feel like you're winning because you are. Absolutely. As a box opposite for education coordinator myself, I totally know what you're talking about. It kills me when I see cereal boxes. You are a soldier of box top, Sherry. Them. Yes. <laughs> I, I am. I'm totally into it. I want to shift a little bit just for a, a minute. You do have a nine-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. um, from, you know, from a career spec perspective, parenting perspective, how do you think that your, the way that you approach design and artistry has changed since she's joined you? Good question. I think becoming a mom, there's a very authentic voice that you just can't have in regards to design and children and understanding the movement, the sound, the sensual aspects of designing for and around children. Um, we can know and work with children and have many ideas. Having one is a new perspective altogether. That's when you really lose sleep and need everything to work. <laughs> Um, oh, totally. And I, it's, I, it's been such an asset in my career because the voice becomes even more powerful with more experience that you have in life, period. No, totally, I agree with that. I have to take you back in time a little bit because I know the first time that I saw you, it was as uh, one of my favorite designers on Trading Spaces back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, this, and it's actually the first time that most of us in the public saw just how good you are with design. Do you have a standout memory from your time on that show? Well, I tell you, because the show is coming back now, I've had to revisit a lot of episodes. <laughs> a little bit grudgingly, I, I always remember every room I did being like, that was amazing, right? And now I look at it, <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, I could have <laughs> I could have done XYZ a lot better. But again, that comes with experience and being so many more things now, almost 20 years after that show originally started, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think it was pretty brave to let a 23-year-old touch your kitchen, you know, when I've never owned one before in my life at that time. <laughs> but it was such a learning curve, and I, we, we certainly introduced design to a lot of kids, most importantly, yeah. that are now adults, and say, I was a designer because of you. 
And that's probably the most rewarding part of trading spaces, beyond all the social memories. I mean, it was a crazy time. And I'm excited to do it oh, again. Great. I think it's absolutely appropriate. So when, is that, when exactly is it coming back? That'll be back this spring, along with another series I'm doing that's totally different on a network I can't talk about. But you will see both of them um, this spring. So it's a pretty busy fall, as you can imagine. Oh, a little, a little teaser, I bet. Yes. Yeah, I have to know this because... I have, to, I have to know this because I always wondered, um, why do you do so much of your di designing barefoot? Well, back in the day when I first started television, the budgets were very tiny. And Trading Spaces was okay. not a very popular show yet. So they didn't really have a budget. Um, so our wardrobe budget was basically what you have in your closet, which got ruined every single week that I would shoot because it was paint. I mean, I did everything myself, right? Um, so yeah. shoes, I mean, I, I've been a designer since I was 17. We covet shoes. We're, we don't joke about shoes. And shoes are expensive. So I couldn't afford yeah. to lose a pair of shoes every week. So that's the only reason. I had no cult affiliations. I have no cause, <laughs> you know, barefoot forever. I just um, simply didn't want to wear my shoes. Sorry to disappoint everyone. That is, <laughs> that's not disappointing. That's totally practical, and I get that. I'm a girl, yeah. And I have a... I have a, a little version of Dear Genevieve here. Um, just I had some friends, of you, I had some friends who are big fans of yours who had some questions for you. Oh, we have Q and A. Let's go. Yeah. So from Christine, <laughs> she wanted to know which of your fellow designers do you most admire? Um, from Trading Spaces or from my whole life? Just from your whole existence as a designer. I'd probably say my best friend John Gidding. Um, he okay. comes more from an architect's perspective. He did a big show called Curb Appeal on HGTV many years ago. Um, we've sure. become such good friends and collaborate so often that we basically work together off camera, too. He has a mind that doesn't quit, and he does all the things I can't. So I would say John Gidding. Cool. The Novogratzes are close behind. Okay. And from Heather, she wanted to know which of your former Trading Spaces co-stars would you like to team up with again? If I had to team up with a Trading Spaces co-star, well, as a designer, I would probably choose Vern as Carpenter oh, yeah. for sure, Ty. Ty and I have a lot of fun yeah. together. But before I go, and I know, I'm sorry, I have to, I want to make sure that everybody who's been listening knows that, yes, all these shows are coming back, as well as it's back to school. And so we have to pay attention to getting those box tops to our school, especially during National Box Tops Week, which happens September 24th. Yeah. You guys can go to btfe.com backslash National Box Tops Week and get all the information of who's participating and what to do. Sweet. Thanks so much for your time, Jennifer. Thank you, Sherry. Day. I appreciate it. Have a good day.